Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hockholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 8 of my Better Minecraft modded Let's Play series. Today I'm going to make a diopside sword to start with for that extra damage. Yeah, quite a significant amount more damage that we get from this. I'm also going to turn my music back on because I turned it off. Okay. Not that it's working anyway. Uh, we're going to do this. I'm going to keep this on us, I guess. Get this sorted. We got an empty backpack. You know what? Let's actually upgrade the backpack. Now that we definitely have more than enough things to do it. So... How do we upgrade Iron Diamond? It's just a gold backpack... So we need a gold one. Let's do that first. Uh, this, and then we'll get this. So we do this, surrounded by gold. Gold backpack, this, surrounded by diamond. Diamond backpack. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the go right there. There we go. So much more room for activities. Hell, yeah. Uh, do we have food on us? We do. We got our carrots on us for now. Let's go to Everbright. In this whole land that it is. So theoretically, we should be doing a lot more damage now with this sword than with the last one. In theory. Ah. Oh, seems like our things are showing up properly too. Which is nice. Oh. I gotta remember, I still got a block. Oh, okay. They're, they're all bugged out, though. They're all bugged out. So there's gotta be some stuff on the surface that we need to go check out. What do we got here? Stardust Ram. He gives me mutton. Nice. But yeah, there's gotta be some stuff on the surface that, you know... We need to find. Well, we, we've got the portal marked. Oh, here we go. Nice little cave area this is. This looks pretty cool. I don't want to spend my entire time playing this um, dimension underground. What do we got here? Brewberry bush. Can I right click them? Oh, oh yep. I can indeed. Do they hurt me? No, they just slow me down. Okay, yeah, that's good to know. What the hell? Reindeer. What are you give me? It's like raw venison. Didn't realize raw venison was blue. What the hell are you? A zuffalo. Oh, have I pissed them all off? I have. All right. Their range is kind of weird, and they're really glitchy, really buggy looking. Oh my god. Now I've got this thing after me too. Ow. Oh, stop hitting me. Stop hitting me, it's really rude. Oh, you're attacking him. You're easy to kill, no problem. There we go. Easy. I want to try and kill all the things, find out all the things. What are you used for? You just convert into bone meal. That's nice. And cara beef becomes smoked cara beef or probably cooked cara beef. So we're supposed to find a dungeon of some description. Now, I don't know how easy that's going to be to find. It could be really easy or it could be really, really annoying. I'm not sure. 
Oh, hi, what's up, dude? You don't bother me. You had a lot of armor, you did. Get some brew brewberries. Get two off every single bush, that's not bad. What the frick are you, my dude? You're like a frost rhino. Crinoceros. Ow. You hurt a lot too. Get our heels going. Come here. Crinoceros. Well, that could have been bad. So... Wonder, can I bump up my render distance by a little bit more? Without my game exploding? Just that little bit more. So I'm, I'm assuming the dungeons are above the ground. And that hopefully they're kind of obvious what they look like. I'm not seeing anything on the map that looks like a building. Thus far. Which is what I assume it is. I assume it's a giant building or something of some description that would seem obvious on the map. I hope. Because if not, we're screwed. How you doing, dude? If you could just not charge me, that'd be cool. Uh, what a weird island stuff going on there. Like, with, uh, in terms of... Stuff rendering. Hmm. What's going on, guys? I'm not seeing any dungeons though. Like I don't I don't know how easy these are to find. There's like four of them, supposedly. And I don't know whether there's like one per world, nor whether like I don't know how dimensions work in this. Whether it's like limitless uh, potential for, uh, you know what I mean, like, is it infinite generation, or is it limited in dimensions? I imagine it might be limitless, which means it could take us forever to find one dungeon. Which would not be ideal. I like getting a high ground. We get a bigger perspective of things. But so far, no buildings or anything that looks dungeony as of yet. I hope it's not underground, because that could take half a billion years to find. That would really put a damper on me wanting to do this. Let's have a look at our quests. So, we've got Everbright. We need to collect four dungeon keys. Right? And we get the dungeon keys from dungeons. Which then get used to kill the summoner. And then we collect four more dungeon keys and then kill the starlit crusher. But I'm not sure how to find them. Okay, I'm just looking, I was just looking at the wiki stuff for it. And it says they can spawn in everywhere but the slush lands, the frostbitten forest, or any ocean biome. So where are we? Oh god, I hate looking at this menu, it's hard to find everything. We're in the Brightlands, so it could spawn here. Now, if we have a cartographer, there's chances that they can sell you a map to the dungeons in the dimension. But it's not a guarantee, nor do I know how that works. Can I just use a cartographer from the normal Minecraft lands, or does it have to be one from... 
Uh, okay, so they can't spawn in the frostbitten forest. Okay. So there's no point going in the frostbitten forest because they will not spawn there. So anywhere but the slushlands, the frostbitten forest, or an ocean biome. So we got to get looking around other places. Ah! Now, I'm hoping that they're very obvious looking. And not something subtle. Otherwise, we're going to have a real hard time. And then we might have to go the cartographer route. Which, I could do. It's not, uh... Something by choice, though. So this is all frostbitten forest, isn't it? This is Polar Highland. Okay, you know what? I should turn on the biome information. Display current biome. That's what I want. That'll make it that much easier. I mean, we're getting a long way from the portal now, which I'm not a big fan of. Because getting back to areas like this if you die is going to be hell. Just absolute hell. I'm just trying to like run across the majority of the map to potentially load in the dungeon. See, all oh, this, this was making me think it might have been a dungeon underneath, but I don't believe so. So I'm saying, I hope it's not subtle like that. I mean, it's extremely obvious, because trying to find info is not the most abundant. Like, it's not like a quick Google search and it says, this is how you find the dungeons or anything like that. I said, I guess we could always use a cartographer if we have any in the village near us. Aha. That... I would say, is a dungeon. Seems pretty obvious to me, right? That looks awesome. Look at that. Oh. I just want to get a good look at this. That looks amazing. That looks really, really, really cool. To me, anyway. That looks absolutely incredible. Alright. I couldn't see my OBS, so I like to always be able to see it. I can't see it, I get a little nervy. So we're a long way from the portal, though. Oof. We're gonna have to be extremely careful. Where's the entrance to this bad boy? Ah, oh, you can go up underneath it, even. <sighs> I'm short one wool. I was gonna say, it actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea to try and sleep here. before we try this. Um, it might be a good idea. What gives me the wool? Did you guys give me wool? I don't remember. Oh, it was the rams, wasn't it, that gave me the wool? Come on. Pounce at me. Thank you. Ah, oh, how did I not block it? You keep giving me monkfish. Ah, oh, here's some rams over here. Cool, we'll just kill one. Get some wool. I think that's our best bet. 
and then just sleep because then if we die at least we get to spawn right near our stuff and we can always run back to the portal after we've already done the dungeon that's no problem now I'm gonna have the assumption that the dungeon itself isn't overly hard hopefully I don't think, I mean, that looks like the summoner's place, though, doesn't it? Like, that's where it look, looks like where a summoner would be. It's that built up. I'm starting to wonder. Um, I don't have any cobble or anything on me, so I'm going to have to grab some of that. We've got the things to do that, though. That's no problem. Actually, we need wood, don't we? We need some wood. Uh, do we have a... Yeah, we have the normal diamond axe on us. It's not exactly what we needed, but... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whoa. Hello, snow. Do-do-do. Dee-dee-dee-dee-dum. Put this down here. Da -da -dee. A, -da -da -do. a white bed for me and you. Let's sleep. Oh. I mean, we can lie in it. But, because it's technically never night time, I guess you can never sleep. I don't know. Uh, let's also... Build a chest arena, so we're not carrying everything on us in our backpack right now. Uh, let's take that. I'll take this in case I need it. Definitely taking this, definitely taking this. And this. Maybe that in case we need to block something from killing us. And I think we're good to at least try this. Now, entrance must be up here. Let's actually grab another chunk of wood. Make a quick set of stairs. Starlit logs, by the way. Just make some stairs out of this. And the rest of the blocks are mine. This should do us. With getting up there. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's why I was shift clicking. Because it seemed to be the way to go. All right. The wizard's tower. Ah. Uh, wasn't one of these. Is one of these blue skies. Enter the wizard's tower. One down, three to go. Obtain a key from a blinding dungeon. I'm hoping this is a dungeon. And not just where the summoner boy is. It's not gonna... Inch power. You can't block it. I know the tool doesn't work well here, but I thought we could at least destroy the blocks, but I guess not. This is just the summoner's tower, isn't it? This is what my concern is. What the hell? Oh my god, whoa. Okay. Hey! We got a dungeon key. Can I have that back please? We got tamer. Quick charge. One down, three to go. That's it? Can you get multiple keys from one place? Oh, hello, kitty. 
Hey, he's shift clicking. Look at him go. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. He's freaking out. You can. Um. What's up, my dude? I don't have any fish for you, unfortunately. And also, taking you with me would probably be a real pain in the tuchus. I guess you could... I don't know. I don't think you could find all four in one place. But then again, I don't know. They look so evil. Thanks, dude. At least there wasn't too much poison. Get a nice assortment here. Ah. What have you been making in your brewing stands? Potion of healing? Potion of poison? Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Mmm. Delicious. Potion of healing. I like it. Do I have any of these at home? I don't know. You can't do that right now. Man, it really stops you from breaking anything in this building, doesn't it? Oh, hi, dude. Vindicator. You've been vindicated. What the hell's going on in here? What are you doing to these poor villagers? You've got them all locked up. I can't even break it. Can I build in here? Interesting, you can't. Um... Huh. I just wanted to... We got another key. His name's Gary. And this one's, I have no idea. This is pretty cool, though. The way it's set up is awesome. Like, it really... We got, like, a witch that's doing his thing. Ah. You need four dungeon keys to enter. The gatekeeper is now selling blinding keys. Is that right? Well, that's... We got three out of this. We only need one more. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go all the way down. This is going to take forever to get back, though. Seeing if I see any more on my map while I'm already over here. Which I do not. Uh, of course there's one of those guys down there. Let's go around back to a staircase for a second. We'll just climb our way down. I want to make sure I take the bed with me, because I don't want to respawn here. Um, like right now. I would also like that. On my hot bar. Let's grab this, and let's grab this. These will come in handy. Minus arrows. Yes, give me a soul fragment. This is crazy. That that place is awesome, by the way. Like, it's just really cool. Alright, you know what? Let's just go buy the blinding keys. I can't imagine they're too expensive. Hopefully they're stuff that we can easily access. Uh, well, how far we got? We got a bit to go. But we know the direct route there, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we're almost back at the portal. Whoa, as my game wants to freeze up. Almost back here. Let's get back through this portal. And then go see the gatekeeper. Hopefully his prices aren't crazy. To get what we want to get. I'm hoping not. Because otherwise that's going to be really, really annoying. 
hopefully it's it's nice and easy for us price wise and we won't get screwed completely by the amount of money it costs so let's go to gatekeeper real quick where is he he's probably in bed wherever wherever that is all right where is this gatekeeper at is he even here I don't see him on the map anywhere. Uh, let's do this and let's sleep and hopefully he's there in the morning. Oh no, I see him. He's out here. The hell is he doing? This bloke's going wandering. Oh no! Did you fall down, brother? Yeah, I'll try and build you a way out. If I can. You know, I should be using a shovel for this. There you go, mate. You can get back to your home now. Right. A book and an emerald for a dungeon key. No problem. Can do. Books. And emeralds. Let's go back. Gatekeeper man. Where'd you go? You still up here? You know you're not stuck anymore, brother. There you go, fella. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a book. We're actually gonna give you six books and that. Boom. Dungeon key. Sweet. So I needed four of those. I think... Yeah, because then you need another four, which I could buy, honestly. I could buy a couple. We'll buy a couple off you. They didn't grab all my books, but that's a start. So we got six keys now. Good, good, good. Let's dump some stuff. Uh, that can go other places. What else have we got now? Uh, we don't have anything to... Too complicated in there to sort. Um, right. Do this. That can go away. Just takes up inventory that doesn't need to take up. Emeralds can go back. Books. Uh, anything else in here that I need to drop off in here? These could probably go away. They're a light snack. Them ones aren't. Uh, books back in here. These just get converted straight into bone meal, which then can I don't know, go in there. Doesn't really matter too much right this second. It's mostly orderly. That can go in there. So it looks like when I'm in here, this armor's great. But when I'm not, it's terrible. Which means I probably want to make a set of this armor at the least. Oops. Let's see here. I already had a chess piece. Hopefully there's a way I can break that back down. Boom, boom, boom. I had a chess piece in here already. I didn't want to drop my bag. Uh, so that's two armor and never breaks. So this says six in here. When we go through the dimensional portal, what does it say? So it's six armor, but on this side of the tracks, it's five armor. We really need that diorite stuff then, don't we? Actually, hang on. Six and six. So I think it's still better than what my iron one was. Which was four plus the protection. I don't know what's actually better. I mean, I imagine best case scenario is to try and get more of that diorite. Or the, the diplo, the, 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 you know what I mean. The diopside. 
Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's better, really. We also need, like, just a good way to get XP on a consistent basis. You know what? Let's do this. Let's put this back on. Uh, did we get any... Do we have any enchanted books of protection or anything like that? We don't, do we? Um, hmm. Okay, so they only stacked to four. That's interesting. Uh, let's grab this back out, put this away. I kind of want to... What's better in this realm? Have I got my diamond sword on me? I do. I'd imagine this is better. Seven with a fire aspect. Or nine straight. Hmm. Also, we have a weapons chest down here, I think. We've got mending on this. And then we've got all these arrows. Just do normal arrows. go over. I want to mess with the pillagers a little bit, quickly. Just to see if that benefits us in any way. Like, they might have some decent stuff inside their massive base of doom. And they just seem to continuously breed. Wait a minute, that's... Is this the pillager place that all those people are at? Look at all the names, dude. They're all overlapping each other. Holy fuck. Oh my Jesus. There is so many. It's actually ridiculous. Alright. Whoa! My God. Ow. I feel like they just keep spawning. Can you go away? Okay, we might have to just tackle this head on. Oh. It's ridiculous. man has 50 health. We've got to really concentrate here. Okay, letting them kill themselves. This is stupid. This, this is dumb. 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 This is this is just stupid now. There's too many. There's too many, dude. Why is there so many? I'm a freaking pin cushion. Got to be really careful. This is going to take forever to kill them. I need, like, rapid-fire bow. This is also to try and give me some XP levels as well. Another reason why I'm doing this. Like, there's literally so many on the map. There, there must be over 100. Just in this one area, there must be over 100. Look at all the arrows. It's actually crazy. Do I have any other food on me at all? Uncooked food on me. 
Like, what the fuck is going on with this? Come on, my dude. Oh my god. We gotta start thinning the herd a little bit. Holy shit! Oh! Ouch! Dude, that's absurd. That's actually ridiculous. Something's busted. There's no way there's meant to be that many pillagers. There's no way. That can't be right. Can it? Can that be right? I've never seen so many enemies in one area in my entire life. Not enemies that all have ranged attacks either. Like, at least if some of them had to melee, it wouldn't be so bad. But all of them can shoot me at range. Pretty much every single one of them. Like, my armor's just peppered. They just peppered the living shit out of my armor. Like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. I mean... The harvest moon rises. Your crops provide a better harvest. Don't believe she hadn't freaking known that. Vindicator axe. Man, that's actually really good. Probably... Oh, hang on. Do this. Can I repair it? Does not seem like I can repair. Okay, we need... Let's get... This is smoker. A good option. What is that? Logs and a furnace. Easy. I don't think it matters what logs I use. Is it this? Of course, it's literally the other way around. Smoker. Now, if I grab a little bit of coal that in there, then we grab this, boom, alright, this cooks pretty fast, hearty meal, fit for a king, let's do this and do this again, get ourselves another smoker, holy shit, Holy shit, there we go. Boom. Grab a little bit more of this. And... Get that going, get this going. Want a bit of everything at this point, I think. Man, that's that's nuts. I, d I don't know how to tackle the, v the pillager population. Like, this area is so condensed with pillagers. I don't even know what to do, and also, that thing is sick, but, like, it's not, it's not something I can easily repair, I don't think. Alright, that's that done, that's that done. Better say, I know I've got more meat. Do I have enough to finish cooking this piece? Yep. Sweet. Alright, that's a bit of food. I believe I have more in here. We can take some steak. That'll be good. Uh, we've got some golden apples in here. As a fulfilling meal. Now, I don't know what to expect. I may get absolutely wrecked. Uh, but we're going to hope that's not the case. We're going to hope this diopside sword will do the trick. We've got the armor in here if we need it. Uh, that's quick charge. That's only on the crossbow, though. That is a good book, though, potentially. That could be helpful for fighting those boys. 
What potions have we actually got? Hey, strength. You know what? We'll take some of these. This might be good. Now, does this give... Is this a throwable? It's instant damage three because me a health boost three? I don't understand. All right, well, I just lost 20-something levels. Awesome. So, what the fuck was the point of that? That's a splash potion healing. They could be good to have with us. Freaking hell, man. That's so annoying. That's extremely annoying. God damn it. Alright, well, let's go. We've got our keys on us, I believe. Yes. Uh, you know what? Do I don't even think we have any ender pearls. I honestly don't think we do. From anything, because we've barely killed any endermen. Can I make them by chance? Ender pearl. You can get ender pearl blocks. Dungeons, villager trades, level four to, for the cleric. Crap. They could have been helpful because I could have made a waystone. Waystone my way back to the portal. But you need four ender pearls. Which I don't think. We have another waystone sitting around by chance. Nope. I'm going to have to run all the way there. Uh, do I have a bed on me? I do. Okay. I want to make sure we get the bed on us, because then we can at least, you know, spawn back there. So you can see we've got nearly full things, and then in here we've got not full things, which is interesting. I don't know whether that's better or worse. We've got five, but we have no... No protection stat. But if we do this, we've got four, but we've got three protection stats. So I'd like to think that's better. But I don't actually know whether it is or not. Okay, so we need to go... All the way over here. Junjun. So I assume this will cause us to spawn the summoner, who is going to probably eat our butts for breakfast. But we can only hope, right? Okay, we just got our quest completed. We get a bunch of XP for it. Well, I say a bunch. To be honest, it's pathetic amounts of XP. But... That's okay. Uh, you know, we could probably put the bed in the building. Hopefully, just on the ground floor, maybe. Put it down here or something. Make sure our repoint, respawn point is set. I don't think I can actually sleep. No, I can't. Okay. Because as long as the repoint, respawn point is set... So this will give me haste, strength, jump boost, regeneration, resistance, fire resistance for a minute. It's not the world's greatest potion in the world, but hopefully it'll be enough to help us beat this summoner. I, th I actually have a feeling we're going to get absolutely wrecked here. But let's hope not. We need four dungeon keys to enter. I have, I have four dungeon keys. Ah, oh. crap. 350 hearts worth. Oh my god. Look, 
Okay, 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 okay. We're doing okay. I need to get our hits on him. This is fine. Get a bit of food going. Too bad. I imagine out. Crap, 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 crap. Keep those on. We need to keep having this. We need that in our bodice. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Okay, they become super yeeted. Okay, I'm going to assume that we need more of this stuff again. I'm just going to keep peddling him as much as I can. Keep our health up. Don't let that dip too much if we can help it. Get out of here, my dude. Time for you to meet your end. I guess said he had regeneration then. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to do regen potions. He's dead. We did it. We did it. Whoa. Okay. That was not too bad. So, we did the kill the summoner, we got the summoning tome, fires a fluctuant spear to hit mobs. Now we got to collect four different dungeon keys. That's pretty dope. But that brings us out of it. Now, I don't know whether if we come into there again... Okay, we can just go back and forth. So I assume the next dungeon we find is going to be something different. Did we break stuff in here? No. Oh, we did it. We did it and we didn't die. Super good. I feel like once you defeated him, you should be able to... Oh. I was about to say, you should be able to take the books and you can. You actually, you can, you can break stuff. Nice. I looked over, I was a bit worried I wasn't recording then for a second, but I was. So, can you break this? You can. So what is this? Glowing blinding stone. I don't know whether that does anything for me. Let's do this. Oh, we've got a treasure bag. Summon a loot bag. Boom. Whoa, we got a soulbound spear. Has built-in loyalty. Oh, so it comes back. Oh, <laughs> that's sick. Ethereal Arc grants 10% movement speed increase. Uh, how does one... There we go. Straight up. Sky Music Block. You got an enchanting book, Piercing 2. Hell yeah. We got some Aqua Gems... Aqua gemstone and the spear. Nice. All right, all right, all right. I like it, I like it a lot. So we can finally let these two boys free if you want to get out of here. You just want to be free? You're unemployed. Hang on a minute. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I grab a cartographer's table, I believe I could transform them into cartographers. And then they could give me a map potentially. Cartography table. I need two paper and four planks. Can I get paper from a book? Is there any way I can get paper while I'm in here without having to run back here? Sugarcane, twisting vines, end lily, down over there, edge down. No, it doesn't look like it. That sucks. I was hoping I could get some from there and then we'd be all Gucci. I'm going to grab enough books so we can make an enchanting table at home. That's my entire plan here. I'm grabbing these books right now. Oh, we can pinch these too. Thanks. My brewing stands. Um, you know what? My cauldron too. My cauldron, thank you. Awesome. Well, we've defeated... Defeated the summoner. Now we've just got to defeat... Who's the next one? The Starlit Crusher. And then we get a nether star for doing that. And then it'll be on to... Oh, what do we got here? Use a toolbox. How do we get a toolbox? Toolbox. We need ventium ingots. Okay. What is this? Forever Dawn. Find an Ever Dawn portal and enter it. And that's that's Ever Dawn. Put full sight on a tool with a toolbox. Obtain a cherry tree sapling. Using a summoning, use a summoning table to allow a summoning tome to summon to an, an artificial golem. Enter a nature dungeon. Kill the starlit crusher. Why am I this blue sky pie? Make a cherry pie pretty in pink grow and eat a pink brewberry. Are they considered pink? I guess I can do that right now, right? When I'm hungry enough to do so. I'm pretty sure I see the nature dungeon as well. It's spawned just over here. I can see its outlines, this big square thing. Let's see if I'm right. You see it up here? I know I'm running further away from my portal. Oh, I didn't break the bed. That's okay. As long as we sleep in the other bed, we'll be fine. We don't want to really respawn at that other bed right now, for sure. Hi! I don't like how you just went through me. I feel a little bit violated. Alright, so that's... That must be the nature dungeon right there. Alright, that's sorted out now. We've got... We know where that is. So we can now... Set up to complete... That next episode. And then we will have done Ever Bright. And then we will move on to Ever Dawn. And try and kill the bosses on that. Now, I, I may have to do some more... Some enchanting and other things off camera to be able to defeat the Starlit Crusher. We don't want to go in and get absolutely smashed. So we're going to have to be careful. Those uncraftable potions probably helped us quite a bit. I hope. <laughs> I think they definitely would have at least helped. I don't know whether they were the only reason we survived, but they definitely helped us survive. That's always nice. Let's eat a brewberry. Okay, we didn't get any achievement for that. I guess we need to... it needs to be different. I guess it's got to be a pink brewberry, and this is just a normal brewberry. Did we... did it take all my dungeon kit? No. Oh, it must have dropped me one, which means I only need one more. Ooh, yes. Alright, well, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Better Minecraft in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. 
Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. And we'll give a big shout out to all my channel members. If you haven't become a channel member yet, you should. It's like $4 Australian a month, which is bugger all in pretty much every other currency in the world to support the channel. And you get some cool emotes and some cool badges for supporting the channel. And I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.